In this video, we're going to be looking at Nessus. Nessus is a vulnerability assessment scanner, and we can use Nessus to scan a particular IP or a set of IPs for any known vulnerabilities. So for this, we need our Kali machine, our web server, our PFSense router, and our domain controller running. So if we head over to our Kali machine, we can head over to Firefox, and if we just search for Nessus, can scroll down to this link here we can click Linux and click the first file click agree save the file now that's done we can go to our terminal and CD into our downloads folder and then we can do dpkg dash I and then Nessus and this will just install Nessus right so now that's done what we can do is we can copy this and paste it and now that should start Nessus so we can right click this link and open the link So now we we've installed it. We just have to go through the setup of Nessus. So if we press continue, we can set up an account. So we can use the username of Demsec and set a password. So now we need to have an activation code. So we need to register the scanner. So if we just click this link, it will take us to Nessus's website. And we just need to press register now. And then we just need to fill in this form. And then agree to the terms of service, press register. Once you click register, you will then see this page and you'll also be sent an email. So you can copy the activation code that Nessus has sent you and put it into this registration form and press continue. So the setup is complete. Now this stage is just downloading all of the necessary things for Nessus and it will then actually install everything that's been downloaded. This does take a little while, so we'll be back after it's finished. So now that's finished, we can go ahead and log in. So this is the main dashboard and there isn't anything here yet because we haven't done anything. So to start off with things, we can do a new scan. So if we click the new scan button, and first we're just going to look at the advanced scan. So here we can see the general basic form that we need to fill in. So for example, we just need to enter in a name of, of the scan. So for this, we are just going to call this the web server scan. And then we can either do a list of targets or we can upload a target file with all of the IPs in. So just because we're doing one IP, we just need to type the IP of the web server. So in this case, it's 192.168.2.104. And then we just need to press save. However, we can do multiple things with Nessus and we can en enable a schedule so we can enable it to do it every um, every day at a particular time just do it for once uh, the, you could do however many times you need to do it and there's loads of other options that we can use here however we're just going to keep the, the basic scan so we're just going to press save and then this will put this into our the dashboard we saw earlier so if we just click launch here, this will then go ahead and start the scan for that IP. 
So we'll see this here and then once it's finished it will sh should show us some some of the things that it's gathered. So we'll wait for that to finish and then once we come back we should have some results. So now that's finished it looks like we've found one critical vulnerability. So if we head over to the vulnerabilities tab we can actually look at what the vulnerability is. So if we click this it will give us a description and it will tell us what the vulnerability is, it will give us a solution and it will give us some sort of reference to the vulnerability. At the bottom of the page it will give us a reference information, it will give us the CVE numbers and all of the other references. From this we could then go to Metasploit and exploit it that way or any other way that you see necessary. So if we head back over to scans, there are other scanner templates that we can use. So the advanced scan is the main one we're going to be using. However, if you wanted to do quick scans like discover the hosts on the network, you could do a host discovery scan. Or if there was a web app test you wanted to do, so say something like WordPress, then you could use the web application test. However, we don't have any of these running at the moment. So the only one we really needed to use was the advanced scan. There are other solutions out there. So there is OpenVAS, which is a uh, So there are other options out there. There is OpenVAS, which is a green bone solution. So with OpenVAS, it is a open source solution. So there is no limits to how many times you can use it or how many IPs you can scan. However, with Nessus, as it is a closed source and you need to pay for it, with this, this is a free solution, but as you can see, you need to upgrade to use certain features and you can only do about 16 IPs at one time. So you can't really use Nessus within the real world environment for free, um, but the functionality and the all round feel of Nessus is a lot better than OpenVAS, whereas OpenVAS is a slightly more clunky and it's not as pretty to use as Nessus. So it's a, it's a bit more complicated. The stages you need to go through are a bit more vigorous than Nessus. When we come to our final videos of doing the whole penetration test in one go, obviously we'll, we'll use Nessus and we'll use multiple IPs within our network to see what is vulnerable.